Tomorrow we're leaving for Gui Guiyong as part of our Global Perspectives trip. Yes, anyway, we think this trip will be a good way to enhance our knowledge of rural Chinese culture and obviously we feel that it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Oh. Should we have some like, really beautiful yeah, view and then we can, have some, country, yeah, we can look at the stars? Yeah. And... They've already warned at us that we might only get to take a shower twice yeah. in a week, but I don't know. I don't know. If we want to, we could just go there. Alright, either way, just to conclude, I'll say the aim again. We're going there to provide a sustainable English learning environment yeah. for those who do <laughs> not have this privilege, and obviously, this is how we're going to do it. So, thank you for watching. Okay, so it's, now it's two o'clock, uh, and we're gonna go to the class and give them the lollies. Give them some candy. Yeah, and we're off. Hey. Okay, Maya just exited at the door. Oh, I followed. I'll take you on steps. Well then, look at those sparkly faces of these young children. They just love it. They just love these It's like heaven to them to look at them. It's as if it's like gold. I think it's the first time possibly that we've seen these type of lollies, but I hope the teacher doesn't get angry with them when they're eating. Let's see, because I'm not really sure if they're allowed to eat in the classroom, but I don't think they care anyway. And there's Maya and Christine playing with a bunch of girls. In this case, they're using a block of wood as their net, and it just crumbled. Oh, that's it. 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 That's it.
Everything is finished. I will kill myself for this. One day, we will be together again. Go tonight. Go with the nurse. See Julia for the last Must time. Matthew, go. It is. It is still night. Go. It is. It is. Dead now, I shall die with her. Now then, um, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but uh, something is going on now. This is the thing that we're gonna donate to the school. So here is a textbook, a lot of things about grammar, and then exercise book, and then, yeah, poem. It is from our school, Guide to Poetry, Green Oasis School. And then those are the practice sheets that we copy, photocopy by ourselves. And we spend 120 to do that. It's really expensive. Color, paper, those pencil case, and then rubber, sponge box. See rubbers and pens and other things. And then Alright, hello there, my name's Clinton, and uh, as you're aware, we went to this place in Guizhou to conduct our Global Perspectives project. Our aim for this project was to provide a sustained English learning environment for those who perhaps do not have it, or who are less fortunate than us. And so we decided to carry out this aim, obviously, by organising a trip to Guizhou and we stayed there for one week and I feel that what we got out of the project is was really, we learned quite a lot actually. Uh, of course, the main lesson we learned was that we should learn to cherish our lives and to be happy with what we've got because after seeing what they have over there, it's truly like we should really feel that we are lucky and yeah, we should really learn to cherish these things. and. Um, Obviously, it widened my gaze to the rural culture of some Chinese areas, and I think that's quite important because obviously I'm from a Chinese background as well, and so I feel it was important to learn more about the rural culture of China, and so I feel that I enjoyed learning that, and perhaps that's the biggest thing I've learned from my trip. And obviously, I would encourage students in the future to go engage in such trips because really you can't really learn about them in the classroom, you have to go out there in the field and truly perform and actually conduct field research. So, thank you.
Hi, my name is Maya Mei Meiqing. I'm from GOS Guru AC School. Tom Huang, Clinton Wong and I are in the same GP project group. Maya, talk about your trip. Well, this trip is part of our GP project. Clinton and I went to Longgang Chongwei School to teach poor students in a certain area of rural China, known as Guizhou. Tom was not able to join this due to family issues. The aim of this teaching experience was to provide a sustainable English learning environment for those poor students who do not have this privilege like we got. We stayed in that school for a week and it was a great experience. Kind of my best experience in my life. Yeah, I was able to learn that there were large amounts of poor children in China who wanted to learn English but did not have the opportunity, which is really sad. The school we went to was very poor, as the whole school had only one English teacher, and the teacher had learned English individually for five years. Due to her limited English ability, she was only capable for teaching the students simple vocabulary and thus neglecting grammar and speaking. We advised the teacher that grammar is equally important as vocabulary, if not more, however, the teacher indicated that the exams were completely based on vocabulary, and so teaching grammar would be surplus to requirements. This made me realize that the Chinese education system still has a problem with teaching students to, to exam material rather than um, subject in general. From this experience, I discovered that there are plenty of students the same age as us that currently living poverty. They fail to realize how big the world is and have no ambition as reflected through the, through the responses they gave when I asked them that, like, what is your future ambition? Children represent the future of a country if they fail to see their future, then it is likely the country will not have a bright future as well.